Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to use filter data table activity in UiPath, which filters a data table by specifying condition in the filter wizard window. The activity can keep or delete rows or columns according to the logical conditions that are specified in the wizard. This is the data table which I have already created. In this, I have created a variable called my data table at the output and I have added three columns say grade, name and surname. And I have added totally five rows to this data table. Now I'm going to display this table. So I'm using activity called output data table, which saves the data from data table to string. So I'm going to create a new variable at the output and name it as my data out. Check out the variables panel, my data out and its type is string. So let me use message box activity and give the variable name my data out. Let me save and run this. This is the data table which I have created already and grade name and surname and these are the grades and and name and surname column. I'm going to filter some rows from this based on grade, name or surname. Now go to our task, click on plus and search for activity called filter data table. Now click on filter wizard. It pops up a window. And at the input data table, we have to give the data table name in which we have to filter the rows or depending on your, con based on your condition, it will filter the rows. And here we have to give the data table name in which the resulting output will be stored. It means after filtering, the data will be stored in my data table. This is before filtering and this is after filtering. So it is filter rows and this is output columns. I am choosing filter rows and I am choosing keep at the column we have to add the index of the column. It may be 0, 1 or 2 because we have added only 3 columns in the data table. So let me add 0. So I am giving the operation uh, 0 less than in the value say 3. So this is a condition we have given. Click on OK. And to display this. I am going to use the activity called output data table. And uh, let me use message box activity. And uh, give the variable name my data out. Now run this. So this is the first message box which contains all the rows. So this is the message box uh, after filtering. It contains only two rows. 
based on our condition it displays only two rows now let me show you one more example click on filter widget and at the column i'm going to give one which is nothing but column name so in the operation i'm using the operation starts with and at the value i'm going to give j so it displays whose name starts with j now click on ok and run this this is first message box before filtering only two rows are there let's see, let us see so this is a message box after filtering so it displays only two names whose name starts with j julie and jesse so let me show one more example and uh, column two starts with uh, say b column 2 is nothing but surname in the first message box there is only one row i think it will yes there is only one person whose surname is b Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel.